So here's Penny walking with her owner. And her owner has the leash tied to her. This is the intermediate phase of off-leash heel. And you can see there Penny is doing really, really well just following her owner. And her owner is only communicating now with the e-collar itself. You can see there leash is nice and loose. They're doing some turnarounds and she's doing a great job following. So again, this is the intermediate phase before we actually drop the leash and see how well we can do, but I can tell you this girl is really ready. Now we're working on some recall from, from place cot to place cot and uh, Penny has a really good recall at this point and we kind of throw in the added challenge of not only recall but uh, laying down in place and you can see there we were in the middle of a street which is uh, a lot of distraction for her which is the point really just kind of testing her out here and what you can see here is she gets a little confused she doesn't come all the way up and in part because her owner is kind of pointing to it and it's confusing her a little bit. So uh, body language is really important during these exercises. You'll see here again she's a bit, uh, bit confused although I had instructed her owner to, uh, to stand up straight this time. Still a little confused but you'll see in this next clip she really starts to get it again and uh, using the long line really helps some people don't use the, the leash for long enough, but we got to be fair when a uh, dog is learning something new and really just using the leash to help guide as you go. That can really help you overcome some confusion pretty quickly. No. Place. There you go. And in this one, we put some bark on the ground because she loves bark, so it's a nice distraction. So she's going to get called, and you can see all the bark on the ground. She goes to get it. The owner said no. The tap on the e-collar and put her back in place. So this is a great way to work on distractions during recall as well.